These kind of mosquitoes are here in the United States, and we now know that these mosquitoes can get Zika virus very easily from biting somebody, and the world is flat, right? The World Cup happened, and then all of a sudden, people from Brazil went all over the, the world and virus very easily from biting somebody, and the world is flat, right? The World Cup happened. back out around the world with Zika contamination. It's a public health nightmare. And so I think when we all look at this, we, we have to learn from it. Zika will be the first of many viruses over the years because the world is flat. You know, yesterday they discovered the papers of the guy who discovered Zika. This Jordanian couple in this story, they had two children with a mitochondrial defect, both of whom died at a young age. Why was this performed in Mexico? Well, because right now it's not necessarily legal in the United States. In the UK, they did pass a law allowing it to happen, although it hasn't happened. And in Mexico, you can do whatever you want in this regard. And it really, really goes to speak with these new technologies, the world is flat. There needs to be global governance so that we all do it right and we have the right outcome both for the children and the parents. All right. Thank you, Dr. David Agus. The world is flat, the world is flat, the world is flat, the world is flat. So, so you spin, you know, when you spin pizza dough, it kind of flattens out. It's wider in the middle of the So, Earth, throughout its life, even when it's like a little spin, and it got a little wider at the equator. So it's not actually a sphere, it's an it's oblate, and officially it's an oblate sphere. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than below the equator. A little chubby. A little chubby, yeah. Chubby's a good way, it's like pear shape. 